I would like to ask you a few questions. Uh, first of all, I want to refer to the situation, everything that goes on in the, here in Israel and the world. People are very confused. They don't really know uh, how to handle. There are fears, there are uh, feelings of um, hate, and actually a lot of fighting with each other in ho in house. And I want to know how you uh, how you see this uh, period. I see that this will never bring the solution that everybody is waiting for. Something big has to change. And it has to change in every person. It cannot come from one person or a group of persons. It has to start inside. Everyone for himself has to be part of this change. This is the only way we can really change uh, our reality. The way to peace is to be peace inside and that's a big work. To be peace in such a confusing period, it's something that um, almost sounds hard to achieve. Like each one of us says its own things to deal with, uh, responsibilities, work, children, families, uh, noises, uh, you know. So you think, although all of these things, we can still make a change? Yes. Yes. Uh, I think there's a lot of people who are already doing it. But the majority of people are still in drama, in an eye for an eye. Uh, and that has to change. It, it, it has to change to be able to establish a change. You cannot go on doing what you are doing and then expect change. It doesn't work like this. So what needs to be done? First of all, it's about consciousness, awareness. We have to take a look at ourselves to see what we can change in our micro environment. How uh, you see yourself helping people in this? As a guide and as a healer, I take people to a place where they can look at why things are the way they are in their specific life. I offer tools how to change your life, how to change perspective. I offer a new way of looking at things, a new language. I offer a look look inside yourself that will open your eyes to see that what you are believing, what you are thinking, what you are feeling, that it's creating reality and that reality is creating you. And that if you want to change reality, you have to change yourself. It's not outside of us, it's inside of us. So that's why I say 
it all starts in the micro environment, your surroundings directly, your children, your parents, the people you work with. You have to change the way you look at things, the way you look at situations, the way you react to situations. You cannot solve any problem with the same consciousness that it has been created with. So it needs a different way of looking. It needs a different understanding. It needs a re-evaluating of beliefs and habits, what we have been taught by our parents or teachers or society in general, to look what is really useful and what is not. So there's a lot of steps to do in order to change things. But the first thing is, if you really want to change, then it will. And then you have to follow the steps. It's a process, it's a work. Is it a long journey? It's as long as you decide it to be. What do you mean by that? Uh, one person can learn very quick and the other person will take more time. It's all about um, the willpower, the amount of time that you put in, the repetition. It's, it's work. And the more you practice, the quicker you get results. <laughs>